Welcome back. More than a million kids in this country have a peanut allergy. But now there is a new device that claims to know if peanut products are present in food. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins tested it. Peanuts are off limits to 12 year old Sean Gerba. My throat will get itchy and then my stomach will start hurting. Sean's allergy makes dining out difficult, let alone visiting a bakery. It's just an absolute horrible experience and so we try to avoid any opportunity we can to be put in that kind of situation where we don't know every ingredient and everything that goes in his mouth. But we asked him along to Kathy's Kalachis and Pastry Shop to test this device. The makers of the NEMA say it can tell if peanuts are present in food. It would be huge because I can't guarantee that there's not a nut on a product with cross-contamination. The NEMA comes with a dozen capsules to test tiny bits of food. We tried it first on Kathy's peanut butter cookies. Peanut found. So we know that one. Had peanuts in it. Had peanuts in it. Don't eat. Next, a tougher challenge. Chocolate chip cookies made on the same tray as the peanut butter ones. Could the NEMA detect cross-contamination? It was not that difficult. Could you do that by yourself? Yeah. The device grinds the sample into tiny bits and using antibody-based chemistry, looks for the peanut protein. Once again... Peanut found. You may not think cross-contamination is a big thing, but it can really affect you. Next, we tested a peanut-free sugar cookie that we placed on the same tray as the peanut butter cookies. Nothing was baked on this tray. We just had the peanut butter cookies on this. Peanut, peanut found. found. This thing is strong. That'll pick up anything. One final test, Kathy's lemon bars. No peanuts and no chance of cross-contamination. What would the NEMA say? Yay! I like that smiley face. The device impressed our testers. It would be fun to take it to school. People would probably be amazed. I'm shocked. I can't believe it picked up the peanuts on the tray that we didn't bake any peanut butter cookies on. Just the cookie touching it. I'm, I mean, that helps me a lot. So now, you know, I know what I can tell people. I think it's going to give a lot of hope to a lot of parents out there who, who are always so unsure. With anema or not, it's still important to read labels and carry an EpiPen. Monica Robbins, Channel 3 News.